Hello everyone. Welcome to today's session on switchboard training. My name is George Roscoe. I'm the product manager for switchboards and power panels. Today's topic will talk about utility, metering, and switchboards. The first type of utility metering switchboard we'll talk about is multi-metering switchboards. The first type is commercial multi-metering, which is typically the for tenant metering, light commercial, up to 40 volts. There are two types of this multi-metering application. The first one is type SMM, which is for the Rockies West. This is a West Coast USERF compliant design. It's addable to a standard front connected switchboard. It also has standards behind it as these are frequently used and the design is shareable between several utilities. The other type is type MMS, which is an East Coast non usurc design. These are also addable to standard front connected switchboards. But there's no standard designs because east of the Rockies, every utility has local requirements, hence why it'll be SB3 because there'll be minor tweaks to the root design depending on the individual utility requirements. For the SMM and MMS, there are a few different types of configurations. The most common is the T-Fuse and circuit breaker versions. There's also vacuum brake switches. The T-Fuse and circuit breaker designs are more compact due to the small circuit breaker size. Although vacuum brake switches, these are the smaller versions, they're still considerably larger than circuit breakers and T-fuses, hence why the density is, is less and the footprint is greater. We have available for these utility meters 30 amp through 320 amp sockets, the most common being 200 amps and down. They can be hot or cold sequence depending on utility requirements. And as mentioned earlier, the disconnect can be a vacuum brake switch, a T-fuse, or a circuit breaker. There's a couple different ways we can have the multi-metering socket done. It can be installed, a provision, which is missing the disconnect, a space, which is a cover only, and a socket only. Where there's a socket provision, no disconnect, or mounting for the disconnect. With circuit breaker and T-fuse configurations, whether the load is going out the top or the bottom, the footprint remains the same and also the, you can use the same amount of meters. You have the double wide which is 6 meters and the single wide which is 3 meters. For vacuum brake switches, there are 6 different configurations and they're very dependent on where the load goes out as the disconnects on the top when it's top outgoing load and the disconnects at the bottom when it's bottom outgoing load. Any capacity 320 amps great or greater or 200 amps and greater in many applications must be configured with a separate utility metering compartment. In the image on the right, you can see an example of this where we have a 400 amp utility metering device and it needs its own separate section with the disconnect and the utility meter attached. And next to it is our standard SMM configuration with circuit breakers. One of the biggest utility metering gotchas is the use of a corner section. A corner section is used to bend 90 degrees on a switchboard, but when you have utility metering such as MMS or SMM sections, you must be very careful about putting a corner section between the two as just doing that can allow the meter faces to hit each other once you install them. What we always do is put a pull section on either side, a bus pull that allows just the bus to flow through it and give the transition section for bending a little bit more length, allowing you to have enough room to install the MMS or SMM socket without having it collide into each other. The other gotcha with corner sections is the use of a single section utility compartment with a hinge door next to an MMS or SMM section. That hinge door can also hit the utility meter and is another reason why you will also need a bus pull section that makes the corner a little more graceful to allow the door to open without being able to hit the meter. Collecting a utility and compass is fairly straightforward. On the main page at the top of the tree, right where you, under where you select system voltage and interrupt rating, is a regional code. If it's the east, you select none. If it's also for Chicago and New York City, you'll select this. If you select none, you will get the East Coast Utilities. If you select USERC, that is how you get the West Coast Utilities. So just be aware, if you select none and look for West Coast Utility, it will not show up. And vice versa, when you select USERC and look for an East Coast Utility, it will not show up. So those are the two key things to set in motion and compass 
what utility metering options you will have. Let's talk a little bit about utility metering compartment design. The image on the left shows a hot sequence utility design. Power comes in in the left section, then runs through the NEMA CT compartment to the main breaker. This is called hot sequence metering. The meter is in front of the main. If the metering is under the main, we call that cold sequence metering. This depends completely on the utility's design. Right now there's over a thousand utilities in the United States, and Siemens currently has standards for about 30 or 40 of these. USERC has the most standard offering, so most of the West Coast is covered under a handful of standard designs, allowing them to be mostly SB2 or SB1 boards. For the rest of the country, we have about 38 designs that allowed it to be SB2. The rest of them would be considered SB3 because there's custom utility designs. Help us help you in this manner because if you don't see your utility in the compass selections, one of two things could have happened. One is the utility was bought out and we have the old name. Letting us know that, your application engineer, as well as the Compass team, we can update the name in Compass. And also, if it's not in there, this will be a good flag raise for us to figure out the actual data. This is an area we can use your help. If you can find out data about the utility, including whether it's hot or cold sequence, and the key dimensions required inside that compartment, that will help us better design it when it comes time to design and guarantee that we will meet our deadlines and give you the product that your customer expects. Another major option for utility metering switchboards is part of our stock program. There are two stock programs, one for the West Coast and one for the East Coast. The West Coast is Super Blue Pennant. This is a U-Circ program and it's a circuit breaker or vacuum break main with a small distribution section below it and above it is a utility metering section. These are made in our Pomona, California facility and stocked in our La Mirada distribution center. The second type is for the East Coast, which is BCT-SCT, which is a non-USERC based on our NEMA standard design. This consists strictly of a circuit breaker called the BCT design or a vacuum brake main and SCT design. They are manufactured in Grand Prairie and they are stocked in our plant in South Haven. The first stock switchboard we will talk about is the Super Blue Pennant. It is a NEMA 1 or Type 3R outdoor enclosure and it is USERC approved with the metering and test block design. The incoming main lugs are mechanical screw type that accept a wide variety of cable sizes and they can be removed and replaced with compression lugs for the utility if required. The Super Blue Pennant is hot sequence as USERC utilities are hot sequence boards. The service disconnect will be right below the hot sequence utility meter compartment either in the form of a vacuum brake switch or a circuit breaker. Super Blue Pennants with vacuum brake circuit breakers can rated to 200 kIC, or the circuit breakers a maximum of 5,000, 50,000 IC at 240 volts, and 35,000 IC at 480 volts. Additionally, below will be a small distribution panel, the size of which is dependent on the opacity and the type of main you use. Here are the major options for Super Blue Pennant. First, each Super Blue Pennant size and opacity has an indoor and outdoor version. And then there are three core opacities for the main circuit breaker and two for the main fuse. Additionally, there's different voltages available, including single phase, three phase 208, four wire, and then three phase 480, four wire. They also come in options with the main breaker and the main fusible switch. Also on the right, you'll see distribution kits available. These are the size distribution kits you can put in at the bottom of a blue pennant. BCT SET is our East Coast stock utility metering program. It is a little bit simpler than blue pennant in that it is only a single circuit breaker with no feeders in it. It goes up to 600 volts, 1200 amps. The utility metering compartment in the circuit breaker or fusible switch can be flipped to be hot or cold sequence. The utility compartment is based off our standard NEMA design. It is again stocked in our South Haven facility. The SET version is similar to BCT except for that instead of a main circuit breaker, it is a main vacuum brake switch. Same ratings apply up to 16 volts, up to 1200 amps. It can be hot or cold sequence from the utility. 
It has the NEMA standard utility compartment and is also stocked in our South Haven facility. This slide shows the BCT and SCT ordering information. The BCT, which is the circuit breaker standalone cabinet, has voltage rating from 65 kA at 240 volts up to 100 kA and then down to 25 kA at 600 volts. So these cover a wide range. The voltages of the of the system would be 600, 480, or 240. The ampere rating of the bus could be 400 to 1200 amps. And there's a few other options such as whether what could be hot sequence, cold sequence, or either. The SCT is our fuse switch version of it. There's less of them because there's only a handful of fuse switches used. But it does also range from 400 amps to 1200 amps and covers a similar voltage range to the breaker. Solution. We have two major types of group mounted metering, SMM, which is the West Coast group metering, MMS, which is the East Coast group metering. Also, when you're using group metering, beware corner sections and the risk they impose. And then finally, we also have, as I show on the page here, our East and West Coast stock switch boards. So keep this in mind when you're using utility metering or need it, the different options available. Thank you for your time and have a wonderful day.